Hola. I'm going to give it a minute to see if uh, for people to join. Welcome um, to Apologia Online Academy. And I am Mrs. Powell, and I'm one of the instructors here at the Academy. And I wanted to give everyone a quick introduction to one of the new offerings at the Academy. I'm give it a quick minute, see everything's working. And let's make sure we're live, it's working on camera. Okay, let me tell you a little bit. Um, okay, looks like it's working, okay. So what I wanted to do was introduce myself again. My name is um, Mrs. Powell, and I'm one of the instructors at the Apologia Online Academy. And wanted to talk to everyone because this weekend, this Sunday, ends our latest promotion, which is an additional 10% off of your courses. So we have a 10% off promotion running right now. So um, if you're considering Apologia for science, for um, your math, mathematics, uh, worldview, I want to make sure that you take advantage of that promotion because it ends this Sunday. So right now, most people know the Apology Online Academy for science, which is what um, is the bulk of what we do. But we are expanding and we are really excited to start offering other subjects. And one of those things um, is Spanish. And I'm just going to give you a quick introduction to the Spanish class. We have both Spanish 1 and Spanish 2. So any questions that you have, feel free to ask. In Spanish 1, we are using um, the Bob Jones curriculum. I really like this book mostly because it's very interactive. And seeing that we're doing an online course and the class is one day a week and it's only an hour and a half, we just try to maximize that, that time in class, trying to maximize that time in class and um, student being able to study and get the most out of that foreign language. Because one of the key things that a student needs to do is they need to practice the conversational component and they need to listen to the language more frequently. And with um, the Bob Jones curriculum, there is a website that is very interactive that the student goes to and they interact with Basically, they interact with the book. So they are going through and doing activities, and there's a lot of vocabulary, and they listen to the vocab, and they're listening to it, repeating it. So there's a lot of that, a lot of, of that interaction. And that's very helpful for a first-year Spanish student because you need that component. Um, so we do the class one day a week. It's an hour and a half long, and the rest of the time, this book is the teacher. So this book is very interactive. The student gets online, does the exercises as we as, as I assign them in class, and they practice. And there's a lot of activities for the students to practice with another individual. I personally recommend um, for the student to get themselves a Spanish speaking individual that they can partner up with and do the exercises. That is key to their success, um, especially for a student that really, really wants to learn that language. It is absolutely possible. It just really depends on the effort that your student wants to make with regard to learning a second language. So that is absolutely possible for them to do that. So Spanish one is very interactive, very uh, subject driven and a lot of um, th there's some writing exercises. So the student's going to get a little exposure to writing exercises as we get towards the end. But there is uh, students kind of like this in my online class. There is no a uh, final because the last chapter is the final. And um, so the students are just really doing a lot of exercises, a lot of drilling. So that's your Spanish one course. If you have any questions, I'd be more happy to answer that. We don't do it two days a week. I have been asked, you know, would I consider doing it two days a week? But because of um, we have so many um, activities, interactive activities, uh, the student just really needs to, if they're doing all the activities, they don't really need uh, the teacher twice a week. However, with that said, I um 
offer office hours for all of my students. So every week, if a student is um, needing help, by Thursday, if they're stuck on their schoolwork, they need to contact me. And a lot of students take advantage of that. And we meet for 15 minutes on Fridays to clarify and tweak anything. And they keep going. So it, it works out really well. And what, speaking of that, at the end of this, every chapter in this book, there's a lot of reasons why I really like it. Well, um, at the end of every chapter, each student has a self-assessment. Let's show that to you real quick. So I have my students, and this is what it looks like. It says here, auto prueba. So I have my students, first year, first year Spanish students. I have them look at this every time they're done with a chapter. And if they did not give themselves a three or higher, I tell them that's your marker. If you cannot self-assess at three or higher, that you need to stop and schedule time with me so we can discuss any deficiencies you have at the time. So while I don't do the class two days a week, there's no lacking for that student. There's um, in access to the teacher and in being able to um, get be successful just because we're only doing it one day a week. Now, for Spanish 2, we do a lot more writing. We get a little bit more into the grammar and we... Um, there's a lot more drill. So a lot more drilling, a lot more writing in Spanish too. And I still add the um, conversational component. So Spanish too is the Bob Jones book, is Spanish too. And that again, very similar to Spanish one, except it's more, now we add more grammar. We add um, more conversational pieces and more dialoguing. So they'll have to be more, like in Spanish one, they'll they'll have a, a, a section of scripture and they're filling in blanks. Whereas in Spanish two, I'll show you, let me find an example. In Spanish two, they will have a whole segment of scripture that they have to go read and answer questions about. So they're gonna be a lot more responsible for reading material and then coming back and answering it. Let me see. Um, try to find one. I should have bookmarked the page, but I didn't. But um, let's see. Let's see. Okay. So in Spanish too, like here, they'll have this segment here. That's all this Spanish, um, scripture in Spanish. So they will have to read that and take a test when on that specific material. So they're gonna read that and they're going to, now they're dealing with more comprehension. Now they have to comprehend what they've read. And I actually had a mom contact me this week um, asking me if um, our courses, is Spanish one and Spanish two, if the course would actually help the student prepare for a CLEP exam. Based on what I saw, for what the CLEP exam requires, yes. But again, it uh, really truly depends on your student. I tell students all the time, you can absolutely learn the second language. I have seen students that are very focused, very dedicated, and they want to learn, they want to be successful, and they will be. And I have students that just want to get the credit. All right, Mrs. Powell, just get me through the credit. Just what do I need to do to get the credit? So um, that's just a really brief introduction to the, that those are new courses that the Academy is offering. Um, and you can register for either one of them at the Apologia Online Academy site. We have 10% off through Sunday. That is a special that is still running. So I wanted to come here live and remind everyone so you can take advantage of that. And um, also, I'm trying to think there's other new courses. We also have all of our science courses. Uh, shameless plug for the science department. We have all of our science courses. So if you're considering science courses, um, again, you're going to get 10% off. So all of our science courses are available. We're also offering math courses. So there's pre-algebra and algebra one, algebra two, and pre-calculus that are being offered at the academy. And um, literature with Dr. Witt. There is um, American literature with Dr. Jones, and he also added a Shakespearean, Shakespeare classics course, which anybody who has ever studied, who likes Shakespeare, or really wants to understand the Shakespeare, 
I would highly suggest Dr. Jones. He's a brilliant man, very gifted teacher. And um, we're also doing economics. That's a new one. And um, British literature, which is a journey through Narnia. So those are just some of the courses. Please visit our site and check out all the courses that we have. The Academy is expanding and we're very excited for that, for God's provision and allowing us to expand. And we're excited to serve our our customer community, our homeschool community in the, in this area of your homeschool journey in online learning. So we are very excited that we are able to expand. So um, I think that's it, unless anybody has any specific question, but um, just trying to make sure any questions that anyone has. Otherwise, I, I'm out. So look into, go to apologiaonlineacademy.com and go check out our classes. Thank you so much.